Hey guys, welcome to a new After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to make a super speed dash that um, or a speed dash that it was res that was requested by Odin Sun 568. That is a lot of sons to have Odin. Um <laughs> okay, he says, "Could you make a speed dash tutorial not like the Flash, but to where I can start on one end?" Disappear in the middle and get to the other side. Thanks. Looking awesome. Well, uh, thanks for saying I look awesome. And, uh, yes, I can. I did my best with, uh, this effect. I hope it's, uh, what, what you wanted. And, uh, here it is. Okay, there you go. Um, sort of disappears in the middle, and uh, well, goes from one end to the other, disappearing in the middle. And uh, here's my final composition. So I'm going to go ahead and fit this up to 100% so we can see it a little bit better. Okay. So as you can see here, I have a, I have a lot of versions of my footage here, which I call I just call dash. So at the beginning. I just um, here. Let me solo this layer. It's just a it's just a freeze frame of my clean plate. So that's just on the bottom. Um, and I and then I had my footage of me walking out there and uh, fixing my footsteps and whatnot. And then when I got to where I actually started to run, which is uh, this layer, or uh, maybe not. Okay, my bad. Sorry about that. Um, which is this layer I just sold it where I actually start to run into where I sort of uh, I'm about to land on my right foot so I just I just uh, split that and I actually sped it up a bit so if I go to U um, time remapping I didn't speed it up a lot whatsoever it's just a little bit sped up and with this I duplicated it and made a copy of that and then I masked around myself which I actually didn't have to do I could have just set down the opacity but I did both just just to show you two alternatives um so your two alternatives are just to shut down opacity or mask around your person and I made this one just a just a tad faster Let's see so it's about five frames five six seven frames faster okay and so I'm trying to copy like going into a super speed dash here and at that point you you would have some sort of blur so I added an adjustment layer just for these final uh, it's about 13 frames here and uh, I masked around I think I had to do yeah I had three three keyframes just to so that I could cover my entire body I didn't as you can see I did not change the backside I just think that sells the effect a little more um, and so with with this other one with this uh, sped up one I just wanted to help this blur effect to make it look like I'm going so fast that it's almost like there's two of me and so that opacity, I put it down to 39%, which is uh, pretty low, but still visible. Um, and so on this mask, I I, uh, I keyframed the mask path, and then I added Gaussian Gaussian. Well, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, you know I can't say this word. Uh, and I set it to horizontal and 34.4. Also in the mask settings, I set the feathering up to 191. So it fades in on the rest of the image and mostly just covers me. Okay, and then then I skipped a few frames and went ahead to where I was um, actually landing on the other end. I tried, I made sure that I had when I stopped, I was landing on my right foot, so it sort of looked like a really long leap. Whoops. Okay, this is solid. So it looks like almost a really long leap 
as you can see I'm about to land on my right foot on this end and I do on this other end the left foot does drag a bit on this side and wasn't on the other side but you know it looks it looks pretty good and uh, basically I did the same thing I I duplicated the layer this layer um, of me going to my final position I do and I split it and I duplicated it oh, I mean not duplicate I already did that part my bad and uh, I basically did the same thing except I did not mask just to save myself some time set the opacity down to 39 percent and actually put it for these three frames in between the two major clips so it looked like the second person was coming in um so then I I just copied the uh, what I did before and made a new adjustment layer with with the mask that followed um, my person with the same blur effect of 34.4 horizontal and uh, the same mask feathering at 191. But what I found in the middle it looked it looked sort of bare. Like at this moment you you would want to see something, although there is this. Uh, this uh, other version of me with the opacity down um, you can't you want to sell that he's going from one place to another so I did add another adjustment layer with uh, with a mask I did decrease the mask feather and this only lasts from the the end of the first clip to um, a few frames into the last clip and the feather is 28 and the blur is the same as the other blur and I think that just sells the effect more and well this has only been a few minutes but uh, I think I've covered it pretty much that's that's just the effect in itself it's a pretty simple effect to to do and I and you can do it in any effect or not any effect any any angle any shot just uh, make sure you sell it with, uh, I guess in this case, right foot to right foot on the other side. And uh, there you have it. That's my tutorial. Please go check out my other tutorials and other videos. Leave a like down below. Comment and subscribe. I could use more subscribers, more likes, and more views. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want another tutorial, comment down below.